Hey everyone, in my last video, I talked about how this remote controller would be a great place to start hacking. And so today I wanted to talk about how I got root access, that is full control over it using a standard serial port that you can find on many smart devices throughout your home. Now, this is a pretty simple hack. So I also wanted to talk a little bit about the history of serial ports because I think retro computing is pretty interesting. But first I wanted to take a step back and talk a little bit about why I'm doing this. So some people are hacking some DJI products to do things like boost the transmit power to give you more range and also bypass no-fly zones. But for me, it's really more of an educational thing because I've always been interested in hardware hacking ever since I was a little kid and now I'm finally getting to do these like pretty simple like hardware hacks. Okay, so back to serial ports. To understand why they were so common, we have to go back to the 1970s. Now back then, computers were central mainframes hooked up to a bunch of dumb terminals that were just used to send and receive commands and didn't have any processing on board. Unlike modern computer monitors, they weren't receiving any graphical data pixel by pixel, they were just sending and receiving characters letter by letter. And actually, these terminals were around long before computers existed at all. Known as teletypes, these were used to send telegrams across wires over to these things called teleprinters. Some of the earliest teletypes were electromechanical devices that used rotating wheels to send electrical pulses through wires of varying lengths for different letters, much like Morse code. This method of sending characters over a wire eventually grew into what's now known as UART, which stands for Universal Asynchronous Receive and Transmit. When mainframe computers outpaced the old punch card system and became fast enough for real-time user interaction, it just made sense to use these existing teletypes for input and output. And when the very first operating systems like Unix were being designed, any kind of user interaction revolved around teletype. Even today, even though there are no physical teletypes in sight, you can still see remnants of the teletype system in Linux um, under the abbreviation TTY. So if you're developing some kind of IoT widget and it doesn't have a display and you wanna be able to debug or troubleshoot using command line tools, it only makes sense to use Serial. It's been at the backbone of command line interaction uh, ever since the start. USB to Serial converters like this one are super common and cheap, and they're very easy to use using uh, tools like PuTTY or Screen. The hardware is dead simple too. A line for receive, a line for transmit, and a common or ground wire. If you want to find this on an everyday device, they'll usually be grouped in a three or four pin connector, uh, sometimes even labeled Serial, UART, TX, or RX. In the case of my remote control, even though they weren't grouped or labeled in any way, I was still able to find it with a little bit of patience. The RX or receive pin was pretty easy. Because the device is transmitting on this pin, you just have to listen by probing around until you find the right pin. The TX pin is a little trickier. Because the device is listening on this pin, you won't expect to see anything. And if you attempt to transmit to the wrong pin, you might end up damaging your device. I ended up probing dozens of test points on the circuit board and after ruling out as many as I could by looking at the voltage and resistance to ground, I ended up transmitting on the remaining points to try to see if I can find it. And after a few hours of questioning my life choices, I did end up finding the right one. All right, so how did I end up with root access? Well, once you have a serial port, sometimes it's as easy as just logging in. Since I already had the password, as I explained in my last video, I could just log in as root. Once I was logged in, I could launch Telnet and log in remotely as root over Wi-Fi, and I didn't even need the Wi-Fi dongle anymore. Even though getting root access isn't always this easy, 
Finding a serial port is still a great first step in your hardware hacking journey. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you start tearing open all your devices and start looking for serial ports. Let me know in the comments if you find any.